Oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Infestation zone. Sure smells like it. <clears throat> gotta burn it down. I gotta clear them out. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation zone later. Nomads. How long you been up here, huh? Setting up ambushes, hitting supply runs.
Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. And where is... Okay. Now I just gotta find Weaver's shit. Another nest. Burn it down. Polystyrene. Uh, gonna need more. Another one. Yeah, time to light it up. Oh, here's some. Uh, almost enough. Just a few more. Okay, one more piece. This ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some men out here to get the rest.
this way. Okay, let's take a look around. Got it.
Let's see. What's going on here? There you are. Colonel, I've spotted him. It's him, right? Remember, Corporal, I want you to You can't get away from me! Now shoot the bike, Deke! Shoot the bike! Don't let him get away, Deke! What the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Uh, let go. Please. Just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I, I stashed you. I swear. Sorry, pal. I told to the colonel. Colonel, Freaks. I've got him. That's alive. Transmitting me. coordinates now. Me alive. Corporal, Please. good. Don't. I'm sending a patrol oh, now. I can fix this. Report back to me. Carry it out. Good.
Hey, huh? I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Send it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. That's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. Can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. Lady's got a fine ass. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. My friend is a napalm molotov, <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine-tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch. <sighs> know how that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. You need anything else? Nah, man, I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son. Taking it to the ass. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's... This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm, I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. You even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with. The... Hey, you uh, you been inside the ark yet? Uh, the caves here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived from the colonel himself. Come on, even you got to give the man some credit for the vision. I mean, stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, this is my tent. Wow, 
nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, I mean, how long did it take the lava to cool and the soil to form? All these trees to grow. When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Ah, uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <sighs> Never mind. <clears throat> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, but that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring, do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm... I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know, I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. Huh. 
been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Ah, damn it, Newt's. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you got damn Newt's. Now, come on, let's just go around. Jam the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? Here, let me try. I think I can get this there. Not so hard. Through here looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on. Okay. You ready? Push! Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh shit! Back, 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 back! Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right, well, why don't we find another way? No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. What? We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if you come up on top of here? You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up tight. All right. All of them. Yeah, come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. See if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. <clears throat> you got it? Yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Oh, Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Ah, uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Good night. Deacon, here! 
Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. Let me no, no, I got this. I got it. <coughs> See? I told you. <coughs> See? Like I said, I got this. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Wow, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey! Another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Sarah, hold on! Come on, come on! No, no, no. Oh, sir. God damn it, Sarah. 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 This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been... Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed freaks before. No, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? Locked tight. No, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? Come on, the roof's low over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <sighs> Okay, push! Far enough? Yeah, yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Nudes can get pretty nasty when you trespass. <laughs> Know what they're doing. Won't stop them from killing you. I know that. That's 
the last of them. You enjoyed that? Well, I kill the newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. I got this. but they smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. The centrifuge has to be here somewhere. Job of hiding the bike. All right, let's do this. Stay put. Keep your head down. Yeah, good idea. Look out! See him. As it's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. Clear. 
let's move. Hold on a second. I gotta get that centrifuge. Okay. 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 All right, I got it. Let's go. Oh, Jesus, that was a really big gun. Yeah, sort of noticed that. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. From up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. I'm coming to you. What, uh, happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain... Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard <laughs> Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, over here. Got it. Hey, hey, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Can I say thank you? No. Okay. 
You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Can I help you? Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. Hey, Deke. Uh, Corp. Hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Oh, hey, no, I, I didn't mean nothing. Just Deke. Uh, Corporal. Uh, see you, man. Deke. Corporal. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns, I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, now that's more like it. Huh? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> See you, Sarge. Have a good one. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock and I'm... Oh, yeah, it's... My brothers and sisters in arms, I stand here before you in some. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a... Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering... Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? 
It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a bear problem. Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from- To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <sighs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know? So, watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. But you know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. to move that out of the way. My god, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace.
Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. I'd see this place again. So someone shot them all, as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Ari? Why is Ari working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! Is there another way in? There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's. Alert. Stay up here and give me cover. Do what you want. I'll see you when it's perfect. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Her voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly it's clear. Coming. against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are.
are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. It's clear. Coming. ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Security personnel to the maintenance building. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time? We go in together. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force <laughs> is authorized. Snipers up there on the roof. There's more of them. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. One more time. Alert. This is a Sarah level Irene Whitaker, alarm. ID 2007659. Security override and disable fucking the voice response. Building. Well, ready? Yeah. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Deadly force is authorized. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. Alert. Alert. It's clear in here. one has been called. Nothing here. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert! Alert! This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been it's fired. Clear. Same Security here. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Warning: Deadly force is authorized for okay, use against clear. all trespassers. Warning. We're waiting for us. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override Alert. and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Oh, fucking bitch! Alert. Hey, hey. Alert. Going this in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Alarm. Every gun on the other Multiple side of that door fired. is aimed right security here. Personnel Need to a the better plan. Building. Oh, yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. <sighs> Warning. Deadly There's force is authorized. There's a legend. You should be able to climb up to the roof from <sighs> that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, Alert. I'm gonna go Alert. in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. Has been called. Okay, Police are that's on a really good way. plan. Stand but uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. Harmed. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? <laughs> Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. Alert. What? Alert. This is a level four. Fire. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for alert. Alert. 
Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Alert. Alert. Uh, 5429009. That, is that right? Yeah, let's go. And you will not be harmed. Alert. Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Here. I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is Ready? authorized. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? Yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Okay. Stand down and go. you will not be harmed. Hey. Alert. Alert. I know you're in there! Oh, you. Answer me, goddammit! Deacon Lee St. John. ID 5429009. Tell your men to stand! Deacon St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale She's up there! Iron Butte facility. You can have to be sent to the first login. Please. Disable voice. Get her! Damn it, Tim, listen to me! Okay. The hell with you! One more. I saw Jim go scurrying into the office up there. <sighs> Wait here. I'll bring him to you. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Dead people outside, Jim. You know the one you shot in the head? I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's that? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a. Bastards. Come on. <laughs> now I just gotta jimmy that door. That did it. Ah, uh, 
Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. So It's clear. You need something, Dick? Sorry, just wandering around. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Oh, God damn it. Okay, now that's more like it. There you go. Yeah, okay. Corporal St. John. I see you around, yeah? The, breakers, the, the big breakers? Wait. Oh, I know. Breakers. They're like these huge-ass guys. Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore.
This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Dark to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books, and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed.